the Village Inn and to the What Comedy Open Mic Comedy Night. Thank you all for coming out. I'm your host tonight, Michael Bednar. And it's wonderful to see so many people out here tonight. So, I'm going to start you off a little bit with a little bit of story about myself. This is my a great, a kind of an interesting week for me. It has been about a year since I've started working at my job, and also about a year since I had my stroke. That's right, about a year ago, one of the most terrifying things in my life had ever happened, and I had had a stroke. I went to the hospital, I got loaded in the ambulance, I shit my pants, it was awful. <laughs> but I got a lot of fun out of it by being an absolute jackass to my friends and family. <laughs> uh, I got to have my, uh, I got to call my family and tell them all the horrible news that I was in the hospital because I had a stroke. And as you can imagine, most, they took it pretty badly. You know, my mom's like, okay, I'm rushing up there right now. My brother was in near tears. But my dad had a really odd reaction to the news. His reaction was, okay, cool. See you later. Bye. And hung up on me. <laughs> it was kind of odd. And, you know, I was like, wow, my dad really took that well. I mean, I'm okay at all, but that was really taking it well. Next day, he comes rushing into my bed, into my hospital room, like all panicked and flustered as soon as the visiting hour started. He's like, oh man, I am so sorry. I thought you were messing with me. <laughs> because of all the ways to mess with your family, I'm in the hospital and had a stroke. He's clearly at the top of the list. <laughs> I also got to call out of uh, work that day, which was kind of an interesting telephone call as I qu didn't quite have the job yet. So I call in, I'm like, uh, so uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today. I hear kind of a sigh, and, I'm like, and I hear, all right, why aren't you making it in today? I'm in the hospital and I had a stroke. And I swear to God, for like a 30 seconds, Nothing was said on the line. <laughs> and then I hear my, the boss go, Oh, all right. Well, uh, I hope you get better. <laughs> I mean, really, what do you say to somebody in that situation? It's kind of an awkward thing. And I got to do that again when I got to call and cancel a date. It was the second time I had called and canceled a date on this girl. And it was kind of the exact same conversation I had with my boss. So, I'm not going to be able to make dinner for you on tomorrow night? Oh, why now? I'm in the hospital and I had a stroke. <laughs> and to her credit, she didn't question it. She didn't give me shit about it. She just kind of was like, oh. Well, uh, I guess we'll have to reschedule that. <laughs> and handled it really well. It was great explaining the stroke to my friends and family. Uh, I, a couple of my friends had uh, had just announced they were getting married and asked me to be in the, in the uh, one of the groomsmen, and I was really honored and it was great. But uh, when they came and visited me in the hospital, I just turned to them like, you know, this is all your fault. <laughs> and they had this look on their face like, what? What did we do? I'm like, you gave me good news, and my body just doesn't know how to process happiness anymore. It's just not something I understand. <laughs> but the absolute most fun I had with this was uh, a couple weeks later. I'm in my I'm in the office, and we're chatting. We're chatting at work, and one of the guys gets an e uh, one of the guys gets a message. He's like, "Ha! I just got this really weird report that this dude says he he lost a contact. Uh, he had a stroke." And everyone in the office goes silent. They just kind of, oh shit. What do we say? How do we handle this? And the next thing they know, I was like, fucking pussy. Back in my day, we had a stroke, shit our pants, we're back to work Monday morning. And everyone in the office is still dead silent. 30 seconds later, my boss and two of my friends fall out of their chairs laughing. Just have, like, absolutely in tears. And at that point, they knew it was okay to fuck with me a little bit again. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my, that's my story. But you're not here to hear me. You're here to hear these wonderful comedians we have here tonight. Uh, up first, I would love to have Peter Stone come to the stage. Peter. Woo